So what's going to cause the upcoming crash in your Airbnb market? Stick around to the end of the video to get all the information. Hi, my name is Michael Smith. Some people call me Smitty. I'm a real estate agent in the greater Phoenix area, Scottsdale and Paradise Valley. In today's video, we're going to talk about the upcoming possible crash that's becoming the news, and it all pertains to Airbnbs and vacation rentals. Why, you ask? Well, you know we're going into a recession, and things are changing quickly. So let's dig into some information and talk about what's happening in the Airbnb market and why we see an upcoming crash, and then that will add excess inventory to the market and will possibly bring down prices in some neighborhoods. So we can see that Airbnb stock is down, but is that really what we're looking at here? Well, not really. Right now on the stock market, any, any company that's not making money is a stock that's gonna drop. We're probably gonna go back after the first of the year and retest the lows. And right now, all the new companies that are trying to be a startup, they're probably not gonna make it or they're not gonna get funding if they're not gonna be profitable in the next couple of years. But why the Airbnb crash being brought up right now? Well, here's the reason. Number one, Airbnb is finally starting to mature in the market. So what does that mean? Well, it's established, people are using it. It used to just be the millennials or the younger generation that, that used Airbnb. But over COVID, a lot more mature people started using Airbnb and finding it was convenient to be able to stay in a large home or a home they didn't want to stay in a hotel during COVID because they were afraid of contamination. So they figured they were safer in their own place. Little did they know most of the Airbnb owners didn't do the same, same type of cleaning or have the same type of requirements as a hotel would. But the businesses grew. And I started to go around and hear in restaurants, people talking about getting together and buying an Airbnb. A couple of years ago, I had a younger gentleman come into me and buy a number of my rental properties because he was converting them to Airbnbs. Now I've owned vacation rentals before, but most of my homeowners associations limited you to 30 days. So I wouldn't really call that an Airbnb as much as vacation rental by the night. And by the night is what bothers a lot of the residents where Airbnbs are located. So what's coming up to the Airbnb market that we're not familiar with? Well, we know airline travel is way up, but remember airline travel is way up because they have half the pilots and employees of what they used to. So they're running with a lot less capacity and less capacity means, you know, more people are gonna have to wait for a flight and pay more for a flight. As capacity increases in Airbnb, that's where we're gonna to start to see the decline. People everywhere were talking at restaurants, even to their friends and family members about buying an Airbnb. They were talking about Airbnb as much as they were sitting at the dinner table talking about Bitcoin. Are we gonna see a huge crash in Airbnbs or right away are we gonna see a huge reduction? Probably not. But remember, the way they make money is by booking rooms. And the more rooms they can book or have on their list, the better off they are. So what does that mean? Well, to the typical owner, there's going to be a lot more competition. Airbnb recently is even going out and making deals with apartment complexes to get a certain number of apartments so they can make them available on their platform. And don't forget, during the last 10 years, you know, We've had unreasonably low or abnormally low or historically low interest rates. So a lot of businesses, both on Wall Street and like this, have grown up with little to no borrowing costs relative to a normal economy. And right now we're in a new economy with high interest rates and a lot of these companies aren't going to survive. Airbnb will definitely survive. There's no doubt. There's a lot of money behind them and they're a profitable company and they will ebb and flow to grow. But for them to grow, they have to build their inventory up to the point where each individual owner is now going to have more competition and more competition is ultimately going to mean a lower bottom line for them. The reason Airbnb built up so much, you could buy a single family home and rent it monthly on an annual lease for 2000 a month, 
With Airbnb, you could possibly make up to $48,000 annually, which was double what you could make with a single family rental. But then what happened is a lot more competition came in and now that 48,000 is down to 36,000. The next thing that happens is a lot of the owners that have owned the properties, they're not used to doing property management. And with Airbnb, if you don't get good reviews, you get bumped down on the platform. Your property doesn't get seen as much. And when your property doesn't get seen as much, therefore you're not bringing in that $36,000 income. Now you're probably bringing in 26,000. Once you get down to the point where it makes the same sense to have a long-term rental as it does to have a short-term, most owners would opt for a long-term because long-term rentals are less management intense because you don't have people coming and going on a daily basis. All these cycles come to an end and with inventory skyrocketing, once these Airbnb buyers that bought within the last two years come into the market, remember when they were buying their Airbnbs over the last two years, yeah, they had low interest rates, but they were competing against other people that were wanted to buy a home to live in that were paying the low interest rates at the same time. And Airbnb investors were always willing to pay an extra 10 or 15 grand to buy a property because they knew the potential of the property from an in income perspective. The other people just wanted a place to live. So ultimately what we see happening now is with competition increasing, meaning the larger number of units that are gonna be available on the market, Airbnb pushing to grow that every year to grow their profitability and less and less people being able to manage the property and, and having to pay management fees, which could be another 10 or 15% on another platform, you're going to start to see the, the deterioration of profitability in Airbnbs to the point where it comes back down to normal and it'll probably be slightly better, but more similar to renting long term. So I'm just going to go in here and show you, uh, you know, again, the stock doesn't really matter so much. Here's another another uh, vacation rental company. And again, as competition comes in to Airbnb and VRBO, you're gonna have each company seeking out more and more units. And the more and more units that come on the street, it's just like Uber or Lyft, the more cars that are on the road, the less the people get for rides with Uber. The more properties that are purchased out here, are going to be less and less profitable for each individual Airbnb owner. And the people that are going to really make it big and continue to, to survive with Airbnb are just like any other industry. The top 20% are going to make it. The bottom 80% are going to fail. And that's going to cause a lot of those people to put their Airbnbs up for sale on the market. And if they overpaid for that Airbnb, they're going to have to sell it at a discount to move that property because remember when they buy, they're not getting a regular residential mortgage for the most part. Many of the people came in and they had to get vacation rental type loans where you had to put 25% down and as an investment property, you had to pay higher interest rates. So therefore those people that are at the bottom of the pole that used to, that most likely bought towards the peak or at the end of the cycle, are the ones that are most likely gonna to have to liquidate their property. And we've seen a lot of liquidations in the properties. Which areas of Arizona are gonna hurt the worst? Old Town Scottsdale. Downtown Scottsdale, where all the bars and restaurants are, that was the most popular area in town for Airbnbs. If I go into some of these websites and I look at what, this one is Data Rabu, and this, this website you can go in and, and check out what you know people are getting for rents on their airbnbs and you can get predicted re uh, revenue estimates for your property if you look i just picked one property in my neighborhood and the gentleman uses it as an airbnb part of the time and lives there part of the time you can see with his location now just right around in this area he has a double tree resort he actually has about five resorts within five miles of this property. Not only that, but look at all these other units that are available on the market. Again, that's with competition coming in. Now, this gentleman paid $800,000 for this property, more than I had sold it for a few years earlier. $800,000 more. Now, he has a lot of money, and he just figures that he can rent it part-time and live in it. But that's not the case for everybody. 
So most of the people that have paid and are running it on a slim budget, and it's getting slimmer all the time, are going to get out of it. The other thing that happened is you had a lot of people on YouTube coming up with all these other videos about get rich quick schemes by buying Airbnbs. And that, again, put more people in the business than probably should be. There's other uh, websites you can go to like AirDNA. They, you subscribe here and you can find out more about what people are getting and how Airbnbs make sense. But the bottom line is right now, if you are looking at getting into the Airbnb business, before you look at what Airbnb prices bring in, be conservative and look at what the prices are on 12 month rentals per month. That's your bottom, that's your bottom line. So if you can't make a go of it at what normal monthly rents are on, a, on an annual lease, do not go out and buy yourself an Airbnb. You're taking a lot of risk on, and again, with Airbnb, they are gonna continue to grow their units, and as they grow their units, the profitability for those businesses are gonna fall. The expenses for repairs, supplies, insurance, taxation, and all the other thing we haven't even talked about is regulation. More and more of the cities in the United States are banning Airbnbs or they're putting steep restrictions on them. And if you're one of the people that gets knocked out, let's just say like in San Diego, I heard that they were having to put their rental property into a pool and be picked as one of the potential Airbnb rentals of the limited number they were going to allow. You may be out. You, If you don't get picked for that lottery, you're going to have to rent your place month to month or sell it. So if we see a bunch of inventory coming on the market from the, the Airbnb crowd, we just need to see if the local areas can absorb the inventory or will it put a strain on the inventory. And right now in our economy, if we have excess inventory coming on the market, it will put prices down lower and lower as we go. Thanks for tuning in. Take a look at some of our other videos on the channel. We just want to keep you up to date on what's going on. We do market reports every week on Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, and Phoenix. Give us a call for any of your real estate needs, or if you have any questions, our information is in the description box below. And again, check out our other videos. Take a look at our playlist. We have tips and tricks for buyers and sellers and a lot of other information. Have a great day.